Carolyn and Thomas live in Squamish, BC. Carolyn used to be a school teacher and now manages their local farmer's market. Thomas works in construction. For them, having a high quality of life means having the time to enjoy everyday pleasures, like their passion for sustainable food. Well, I guess my role, uh, my life, I wear many hats in connection with food. I love food. I'm passionate about food, what I eat, the quality of it, um, where it comes from, how it's grown, the nutrients uh, within. My connection to food is, I would say, I'm a foodie. I like to eat good, healthy, nutritious food, and mm -hmm. I love to grow my own food. So and with this property, we've, we've made a resolution uh, quite a few years ago that we would only buy plants and plant things that we can eat. We have apple trees, pear trees, plum trees, Italian prunes, cherries, figs, and uh, going to the berries, we grow strawberries, we go uh, kiwi grapes, regular grapes, raspberry, Black currant, red currant, white currant, and then and then we have all of our annuals. So we've mm -hmm. got lots of uh, huge garden for edible uh, annual produce. So whether it's our greens year round, or our uh, beans, our peas, our radish, our potatoes, our tomatoes, our peppers, uh, garlic, leeks. One of my hats is that I work as the manager of the community garden in town, and we have all sorts of families, uh, seniors, individuals that have taken on a plot and it's kind of funny to hear a lot of them say, oh that's so big, 120 by 4 foot. <laughs> and it's like, don't you worry, you can fill that up in no time. And, and so that's been a passion of mine, just to watch the joy that they get out of taking this small space and having that contribution. I love the concept of slowing down and it's really important and very special to me to be able to connect with people, to take the time to say hello to people that we pass on the road. There's such beauty in those connections in our community all around us if we just slow down and let them connect. Yeah, I would say yeah, happiness comes from within and to find the inner happiness you have to slow down. The idea of slowing down is appealing to others too, both the pace of life and the pace of our consumption. I think being being willing to not go out and, and and buy something the instant you need it, but see if you can figure out how to how to make do with what you have already. Um, so really slowing down with our uh, knee jerk reaction to just buy something new. And slowing down is really nice, and slowing down has a real impact on the, on the world. Um, on the environment. Right now, we're all trying to race to purchase those items that, you know, signify status. If we slowed that idea down, that we don't actually have to purchase those items all the time or, um, or reach those goals that, you know, a consumer society imposes on our views, that it'll be better. I think it's an absolutely great idea. I think, um, well, but I think maybe, I mean, there are going to be millions of economists and businessmen angry saying that, hey, no, uh, well, you're crazy, but I think we should all slow down. Yeah, so slowing down doesn't mean uh, laying in the hammock and sip on a margarita. It just means you take more time about the things that are important for you in your life. 